Hi, so you can see here, this is the uh, main bathroom upstairs. And we're not in bad shape in the actual window, but look, I'm gonna have to change the seal because at both ends, water can easily get through there, you know? Like, if I ever put it in, okay, it's one thing that's fatigued, but it's got a major gap, and the water comes down here and straight into it. So I need to get this to come in to about here. I need to get, um, get the seal and I need to shove the seal into about there so what happens is when the water comes down it gets kicked out into the bar and comes out and once again you can see I need to take the paint off and then I need to fill these but anyway here we are so uh, I'll show you a video of each one individually okay you can see we have the same dynamic here now it isn't bad on this side but we're still going to have to replace it and put a new one in because if it's come down on one side, it's going to rot inside. It's only got one way to come out, and that's to rot it. So, apart from that, we're not bad. Okay. So, this one here, I took the seal out. It wasn't necessarily bad. It was a little bit peeling out, and we can get it back in. But there was a little bit of an area that hadn't any stain on it. And I just wanted to make sure I got the stain on it. So this has had two coats. Uh, once again, like, I know I can get this baby back in to stay with silicon. I know that. But I'd be afraid of that crack. You see that crack there, right there? So I, I think on this one, I'd be inclined to actually go and to replace the base one as well. Okay, you can actually see there. Can you see that in there? See the way that gets right in. So they're not meant to stop here. They're meant to go inside. And this one's done correctly. And you can actually kind of see that that one is as well. It goes in further. I know it's hard to see, but it does. So that's what we got to do with the other ones. So on the actual door itself, some of these just need to be cleaned up, but some of them are definitely fatigued. You know, definitely fatigued. You can, you can see the little ribbons in it. And that's the start of a breaking down. And the same up here. So probably what you're looking at here, same as the other windows. All of the horizontal ones getting sealed off. And then we'll put a little bit of paint remover and clean these babies up as well. But So this is with two coats on it. And I think it's really kind of come back to life. Well, we're going to give this another two. We're going to give it about four coats because it's getting really sealed up in terms of the weathering at the back. Okay. It's interesting, but the other ones inside weren't as bad as these ones. Here's the upstairs window. It echoes the same as down below. Curling at the edges and then fatigue and erosion on the bottom lens. So we'll just have to see how we get on. You can see, you can just see there the way that they're they're blistering and eroding from both ends. Okay. So that's echoed amongst all of the bottom seals because they're the ones to take the most weathering. Sorry, just to finish that off. They're the ones that take the most weathering because that's where the water is actually sitting before it runs off. Okay, and then you got this baby here. I don't know what happened to that one. There's no seal up along there whatsoever. Okay. So look, Mother Nature has a way of kind of controlling these things. So this time I'm starting from down below. So these have had two coats today, okay, and so have the sides, which you've seen. You're kind of seeing up close, but you can kind of see from a, a distance there. So, into the actual house. I put the stain blocker on. You kind of look in there as you can see a differential. Put the stain blocker on just to hold back the grease. The window sills have been done around the um, 
So, the window sills have been done around the window boards. So, the There's the window sill done. But the window boards, I'm so sorry. Gee, it must be a long day for me. And there's the fireplace done. So well, when I say done, fireplace and need to touch up coat. I also want to put a little bit of filler in here. Okay, probably should have done that initially, but it needs a second coat anyway. Well, a second finish coat. It's already had one undercoat and one uh, satin, so. I think it brightens the place up. Okay. So that's kind of where I am inside and downstairs. A uh, little bit more in the hallway. I got the, I touched up the handrail and whatever spindles needed to be touched up. And I'll have a look tomorrow. It. And you can just see that little nib and underneath is a lot cleaner than it was. Plus the return here. Now, look, I'm going to have to get a small little artist brush to get in behind some of those small little bits. But that's not a problem. Just let it dry. Okay, and I did the face in them as well, just to tidy them up. And I guess the biggest culprit was in here. This is where the most paint splatters were most obvious on it. Okay, so I think we're looking pretty clean there. So that's the end of video one. So kind of step number two is, well, step number three, I guess. Step number one was putting seals in, and then step two was sealing the existing seals. And now you can see the paint remover actually on it. So kind of the longer you leave it to you know leave the better so you kind of dab it on leave it for about half an hour and come back to it and put a bit more on test it and come back so you can see all the accumulation is on where the off runners are running down where the glazing bar comes down and it's also indicative of where the water goes so this is our problem area and it's also where all of the other stain like there's very little here you know what I mean? Actually on the bar itself. So uh, so we just leave that there. You can see them. Okay, you can see them. And we need to take them off because we can't seal in and around, well, aesthetically, but more importantly, functionally, we need to get back in and seal in and around there. I'm also going to seal these joints up here as well. And just seal the whole thing up. Okay. So you can just see a new seal in there and you can see how I also sealed around there as well. This was, on both of the windows, the seals were a little bit short, so we got new ones in. Okay, and these are pretty rigid, but I'm still going to put a line up there. And I'm still going to seal these in here, okay? In the gap, you can see that. So I'm going to seal them up as well. Okay, so we don't have, we don't have any real discoloring so I'll just take that off with a blade and then I'll seal these up. So you can see there sealed up around the joints, sealed the seals and sealed also glazing bar where it meets the actual frame at the window as well. So there's no way water's going to get back in anywhere around there. Okay. So you can see again, just showing you this one again. This is short on both sides. So, seal this up, more stain up here. So I'm just gonna put this in, seal up around the joints and then we'll put paint remover on that. So you can see now where I've sealed it in there, hopping along. You can see the seals are now, the joints are now sealed underneath and the paint is removed so that's kind of where I am at the moment now sealing and doing that okay chat you later just 
So here's the second coat on this guy here. And I'm just waiting, I've got a little bit of paint remover you can see. Just waiting to clean off the glazing bars. And then we will uh, put the solution on it. And this one up here is done. These two are done. So look, it's, it's hard to see it in that light. But uh, so you can see it up close when you come. Okay, thanks. Don't know why my phone looks so foggy, so sorry about that. But you can see that I put a coat also just on that little section there to take it up. Okay, just add a bit of light back into it. Hi, Kira, just want to show you this here. So, what you got is this is all, I hate to tell you, but this is all rotten here. And so, just one point, I've sealed it up. But all of this timber along here is rotten and at the end, so no more moisture is going to get into it. But it kind of seems redundant to paint it because I think you'd be better off trying to lift this section here off and see what repairs. See, this is good here, right? So I think you'd be better off to lift this off, get new timber in and then repair it before it's painted. Uh, but look, you know what I mean? It buys you time to get somebody in. It's not a big deal to do it. It's only a matter of putting a bit of a, and that's only a, uh, that's only a, a, a window, a door board, a door saddle is put on it. You can see the edges. You can see the edges. So same again, but just seal it up properly. Uh, not a big deal to do it, but uh, I just feel painting it wouldn't really make much sense considering that there's rot there that needs to be sorted out. Okay, chat to you later. Thanks. Hi, Kier. So it's, it's kind of, uh, maybe I need to clean my lens. So sorry about this, but I'm done. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it until tomorrow to come back in and just touch up. I just want to go with that window one more time and take the paint off. The rest of them are done. And the front door just want to give that a little touch up tomorrow and I don't want to be rushing it so there's about an hour two hours tomorrow I'm going to take everything out of the house cleaners are paint are cleaning up inside so everything will be ready just a bit of touch-ups around the front okay and that's me done tomorrow thanks talk to you later This is just really what I showed you yesterday, just in better light. And you can see them sealed up there at the joint and the glazing bars are cleaned as well, as well as the new seal put in. So the door's got another coat, the awning uh, underneath the sides another coat what I also did as well is I also cleaned it off as well so it's a lot cleaner got a little bit of white spirit and cleaned that off as well top windows done and this is kind of the one that got my most attention because it's the most visible one this is the first impression one so the the crack I think kind of looks more natural I got that filled in and the bit that was missing there has also got a cut stain on that's a new fresh coat so it's still adjusting and then all the seals all the seals are done too okay all the seals are cleaned up as well On the bottom, you can see that that's a lot cleaner. On the bottom, I managed to get the old paint, but most of it off anyway, and in the end, surrounds as well. Thanks, Kira. Chat later.